Guys, they said only of Ife Jubilet as Quenami agrees to meet him uh, at their beach house in Lekki. I don't know if you have been following this G. Sometime around the three or four months back, there was this news that KBSC bought a beach house in Lekki and named it after Queen Naomi. Something that made uh, Oluri TikTok go gaga. Because they said on several locations she have gone there to go and see KBSC and she was denied access into the place. You know? So... With what is happening right now between Penami and KBSC over Tadenikawo, you will travel with Tadenikawo, you will not travel with Tadenikawo, you will leave Tadenikawo, uh, Toby will raise Tadenikawo and all of that. They say Penami have been crying. And when KBSC was able to reach her, they say KBSC told her to meet him at the beach, let them discuss and know how things will be sorted out that he doesn't like to hear that when Naomi is uh, crying like that and everything. <laughs> My people wonder shall never end though. You see this love between Queen Naomi and KBSC. If you ask me, I will say that these two love themselves, but just that KBSC does not have the skill to manage Queen Naomi. And we all know that Queen Naomi is a special being. She is not one of those women who buy themselves in the palace just to be answering Oluri whether they are happy or not. And she is not that type of a woman who will abandon her child to be with another man. Because we all know that if she is in that category, this leave Tadenika will don't leave Tadenika will leave Tadenika will don't she would have left Tadenika will for KBC and follow whoever that she she desires to be with. but she is not in that category. Penomi is a, a, a daughter of Zion. And she, her her life is an how will I put it? She ministers with her behavior. You know the way she behaves. She's not that woman, that kind of woman that is loose. That kind of woman that will abandon her baby, because someone like uh, Temi Tokwe from what we heard abandoned her is it three three months old baby to go and marry Kabiesi. And I keep asking that question: Why she was pregnant with that three months old baby? Are you sure KBSC does not know about it? I keep asking that question. If that information is true, because I don't know if it is true or not. And that's why I will always remind you that these are all alleged information. So KBSC have called on Queen Naomi to come meet him at that beach so that they will be able to discuss the way forward. And when Queen Naomi accepted to go uh, to come and meet him there, the Seka BSC was very, very happy. You know, because for a long time, he had been trying to seize every opportunity to be with Queen Naomi, at least one-on-one -on -one and talk. But Queen Naomi had been avoiding him at all costs. Even that uh, bed, that bed day night, we heard that for hours, he was on phone with Queen Naomi. And... Uh, at some point, you look as if their uh, discussion is going well. Then the next minute, you find out that the discussion is not going well. You know, that was the day they said one of the prospective uh, wives, as in one of the incoming wife, you know, who ha who came to the palace to celebrate Kabiesi's birthday with him, waited and waited and waited. And when he find out that Kabiesi is deep into that call, she decided to leave, and then the next morning she started making troubles out of it and everything. So, uh, when Kwenomi decided to come, the say KBSC was very happy. But something happened that KBSC got disappointed, very, very disappointed. They said, when Kwenomi uh, get to uh, that beach, they, uh, they were there, and KBSC was trying to tell Kwenomi that, look, that what he is doing is not because he does not love Queen Naomi. That Queen Naomi knows that he loves her. And he can do everything within his power to say that Queen Naomi is happy. Hmm, happy. Okay. So they said he told Queen Naomi that all these women that he is marrying, that he does not love even one of them. That Queen Naomi can attest to that. That she is the only person that he loves. That the reason why he is marrying all of these women is because of the level of politics 
and this kinship that a lot of people are out there you know to bring him down if he decides to go against their decision but Kwinami will not understand the politics that is going on on, uh, on that throne that he is marrying them not because of the because he loves them but he is marrying them because of the fact that he is the king there are demands for all of that that if Kwinami will accept to return back to him that he will not go ahead and marry the four that it is that is down the line right now and i ask so you have the power not to marry if you don't want and you're telling penami that this six is because you are this you are that anyways let's just <laughs> uh, believe him you know let's just believe him they said when he asked with naomi that penami should be sincere with him that if he refused to marry this four that he is about to marry now and make a space for her to return back to the palace and take her position as his wife. There are all these other ones. They are Ifa wives. But now you denack them. Mm -hmm. They say when he asked Queen Naomi that question, Queen Naomi told him that even if he likes, let him send all these other Oluris out that she is not returning back to him. That Kabiesi have pushed her to the wall. And she have made up her mind that nothing will ever bring her back to that palace. Hmm. That Kabiesi should give her her freedom. That that is the only language that she understands right now. Here, yeah, the second Kabiesi was quiet for some minutes. Because with the kind, kind of calmness that when Naomi uh, entered that place with, she was very calm, very, she's always humble now. They say she was humble as usual very calm, on a low tone, she told Kabiesi, the Kabiesi, even if you send these six out, cleanse the palace, do all of that, I am not coming back. So there will be no need of stopping you from doing something that you enjoy doing, which is marrying all of these old cargoes. But the only thing you should know is that I am not coming back. That all you should do is learn to accept defeat. And do not involve your son into it so that he will not regret the action later. That this issue of Tade Nikawa, this Tade Nikawa, that she knows down, deep down in her mind that you are just holding on to that to see if she will come back. But she is telling you today that she will not come back to you unless God said that she should go. But as long as she as a human being, that she have made up her mind. When I hear, unless God said, uh, I know that she's a true servant of God who listens and obeys the instruction of God. And that is why I keep praying that God will intervene. You know, the second BC was so disappointed. He never knew that at the end of this whole uh, episode that Benami will say no again. That is what we're hearing. Don't forget that these are all alleged information, okay? I wasn't there. I hear, I hear. And as I hear, and so I the share. Okay, please subscribe to my channel, follow my page, and share my video. I love you guys. Bye. See you.